what I'm working on today is I'm changing the final drive fluid. So this is by far the worst fluid to deal with. This is just regular old gear oil. But this stuff is so dirty and so smelly and stinky, it's just terrible to deal with. So this is just a rotisserie chicken tray. I'm going to try not to spill oil all over the place like I did on the other side. Yikes, no fluid in there, that's a bad sign. Okay, I got that filled back up with oil, but I'm going to keep an eye on these plugs. And this, this one track didn't really seem to have a lot of power to it at certain times. And I'm wondering if that's because there was no oil in there. So, as, as a general rule, that's a really, really bad sign if that final drive doesn't have any oil in it. There was a little bit in there, but I'm going to keep a close eye on that and make sure it stays filled and doesn't have any wet spots or leaks. This was the current gas cap on this machine and you had to fight with it and get it to pop off so I just bought a cheap aftermarket replacement and that is the I was just something on eBay but I started collecting filters here so this is the air filter this is the hydraulic suction filter this is the return filter and I'm still waiting on oil filter, fuel filter, and some other filter, I think. I think there was eight of them that I had ordered. So, I had pressure washed this reservoir. The uh, suction filter should be in here. I also noted that my fluid level is quite low there. So this was all covered in, in dirt and grime, so I got that pressure washed. Oh, look at this. Looks like the previous owner left me some garbage in here. Huh. Oh, there's a pair of... Oh. There's a pair of snap ring pliers. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. I guess I got to clean all that stuff out of there. But I'm still waiting for filters before I do this hydraulic fluid. 
I just finished turning this thing around and I'll show you why I did that in a sec but um, I got this panel off and this piece off right here and I had noticed the other day I put about maybe five hours on it and it, it just seemed like it was running a little bit hot to me and so this is the uh, hydraulic line radiator and then the one behind it is the engine radiator and I wanted to show you this hydraulic radiator does have a lot of dust in it and debris in it so I'll, when I get this thing when the when I get the hydraulic fluid out of here I've already started taking this out so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this little radiator out and soak it and try to get it cleaned up a little bit better but what I want to work on right now is this hydraulic oil so the guy at the, the dealer gave me three gallon or three buckets and I'm pretty sure on this KX91 I'm pretty sure that is my drain plug right there so we're gonna find out in a second here All right, that was a 22 millimeter bolt right there. So he's, the guy at the dealer gave me three buckets, so I've got three buckets here waiting to fill up. Hopefully we can not spill a ton of his stuff. But that fluid looks pretty cloudy. I guess it's a good thing I'm here changing it. This radiator seems pretty self-explanatory. There's a couple of little 10 millimeter hose clamp like things on here. And I already loosened up this side, but it was gushing fluid, so I figured I'd get the fluid out of there first before I got too far. there for now. We'll come back to that. I want to soak it and get it cleaned up. So we can figure out how to get the filter out of here.
I think this is the return filter. So it looks like you got a set screw right there and then it just unscrews. So let's get that taken off. Well, there's the return filter, and can't really see the media too well, but this thing's getting a new one. Taking a closer look, you can see how dark that is, and, and that might be the fluid too, but you can see how light in coloration that one is. And there's your part number for you right there and that's the same part number as on the old one too so that's always nice so that just goes back on the opposite way that we took it off we'll screw that on and then we will set that set screw back in place All right, so before we get this back together, let's take a look down in our reservoir at our suction filter. So there's our suction filter. So we want to get that out and we want to wipe this reservoir clean. So it looks like that's just going to unscrew. So we'll give that a try, see how we do. <coughs> Well, that didn't work. Let's try putting a wrench on it. This is a wrench I made several years ago for taking off inner tie rod ends. So let's see if it'll work. Alright, there's the new one, so found out that that wrench was not nearly big enough. So we're going to try a pair of channel locks, I mean, uh, so I don't know if you can see it or not, but all I'm doing is just I just broke that filter loose down in there and now I'm just unscrewing it. Okay, so it looks pretty clean but again this is getting new stuff, so there you go. Okay, before I do anything else, I want to wipe out the inside of this reservoir. Get all this old fluid out of here and any residue that might be in there. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Well, let me see if I can get that back corner right there. So let's get this on that little nipple and get it tightened up. Alright, I got it on there and I don't want to grab a hold of the media 
and tighten it up. So I'm going to get my my uh, channel locks back in there. Okay, I think that's pretty well full or uh, tight. This fluid looks a lot cleaner and clearer than this fluid that came out. So I'd say it's probably a good thing we're doing this. The machine has 2600 hours on it. I'm not sure that it's ever been done before. All right, so we got the plug back in. Now let's fill it up. Look at how clear that fluid is compared to what came out of it. I just soaked this little hydraulic radiator and blew it out and I don't know if you can tell or not but there's still some crap in there but at least now you can see through it whereas before it was pretty you can see some of the junk in there still and I don't want to damage the fins too much so I used some compressed air and then I blew my lines out really really well but I'm going to go ahead and put it back in and I may end up ordering another radiator. That one's questionable. We are all buttoned up over here. Got this little radiator back on. Get that little bracket in place on both sides. Got the hoses tightened on. So I'm going to leave this all open so I can start it up and warm it up and check for leaks over here because I want to make sure you can see that connection right there. I want to make sure those are all good to go. So there's my old fluid. Looks pretty cloudy. And I got this all back on, so I don't have any fluid on the, the sight glass, so I want to add some fluid in there. So let me do that real quick. over here that hose looks good and looks like our fluid level is still super high that fluid just you can't really see it too well so I'll run it a little bit and warm it up and see what happens but I'd say this job was a success It's been a couple weeks since I did that hydraulic fluid change, so I wanted to revisit real quick. Here are the filters that I used. So there was the suction filter. 
this was that's an air filter there and then this was the return filter and then another filter this is the pilot filter I think it's called so let me show you this one real quickly here this little filter is right in there so you just unscrew this little canister here and I wanted to show you also there's what the old one looked like so the new one was nice bright white in coloration this one looks like it's quite quite dirty there so that one goes right in there that was really easy to change and I did while I was in here I did a new oil filter down in there and a new fuel filter in there too I also cleaned out the uh, the water separator there there's a little filter a little mesh filter in there too that I, that I just cleaned out but didn't replace and the air filter there's an outer and an inner air filter in there that I got those replaced as well so I'm gonna make another quick video of some of the other issues I've had with this and how I've resolved them so stay tuned one thing I wanted to mention here with this cleaning out of the hydraulic radiator there when I turn this thing on and I'm running it you can put your hand down here from the from the driver's seat and you can feel air being blown across there and it's quite cool too so that's that's been a big help cleaning that up okay I think that's gonna wrap up this video oh you can see here too when it's cold the fluids about right there when it gets warmed up it, it increases a little bit so it seems to be fairly steady right there and I'm just gonna leave it I'm pretty happy with that level